out. But we are talking about Kevin Stefanski and how this was the baker Brissett playbook he dusted off. It looked quite different than the Deshaun Watson offense. Uh, and there's good reason, obviously, Deshaun and Joe Flacco, very different skill sets. But it seems like Stefanski's creativity and all the wrinkles he has in his offense come out of this bootleg play-action playbook. And then when they have to go into the more shotgun-predicated offense for Deshaun Watson, it seems a little more stale and basic. And I compared it to my high school coach who literally bought a flex playbook off a coaching one-on-one website and handed it to me my junior year and said, this is what we're running this year. Wait, Mike. Yes. I don't understand. Haven't we complained that they run too many trick plays? With- no, 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 no. Not, not say trick plays, but just, just little wrinkles and counters to what the defense right. is doing. Such as the first touchdown to Jerome Ford yesterday where they brought something back out they hadn't used in a while. I'm not even saying it's a knock on how they run the shotgun offense. I'm just saying it seems like the wrinkles in creativity, like yesterday having the running back chip Aaron Donald in the middle, come more out of that type of playbook than when we see Deshaun Watson or DTR or whoever in the more shotgun predicated offense. G, you seem to agree last night. Bull, do you not kind of see that the same way? Am I, am I way off in, in what I'm looking at? I don't know. I mean, that, that, how, how do you define that? How do you define that? I mean, the the offense looked good in the Tennessee game, right? The offense no, no, no. Looked I'm not, I'm not saying it didn't look good. Game. Like this is not a good or bad. It just seems there's different levels and more. Uh, what's what I'm looking for? More creativity. Not even creativity, but piece together plays to no, work. He, he uh, has, you run, you run two or three plays to set up an extra play. He well, has, and it seems he has, like so, it's more continuous. Maybe it just looks that going. way because Flacco played better and smoother than the other quarterbacks. But, I think I know what you're driving at, Mike, and let me see if this answers it. This is just my this is my perception. Could be wrong. When you play fake, you freeze a layer of the defense. So it opens more things up. When you don't have play fake in your offense, there's a higher likelihood the defense is able to call out what you're going to run than than if you're gonna play fake. Because yes. let's face it. The play fake is designed to look like a run, but end up as a pass. If the defense comes up to the line and see that you look like you're going to run, they're going to switch their call, if it wasn't already run heavy, to be run heavy. That's why it opens up the pass. That's the whole idea of the play fake. And it seems just to me from an outside observer who's never spoken to Kevin Stavansky in my life, he seems more comfortable calling plays and putting play progressions together when his quarterback has that capability I under agree with center that. than when he's in shotgun 70, 75% no, of the time. No, I agree with that. And, and, and that's, there's a reason the play fake has been in the NFL lex- in, in, in their vocabulary for 50 years. It works. It's a proven style of playing offense. I think that when you're gun heavy and – you know, five wides or, you know, splits to both sides. Just hold a sign up that says we're passing. Yeah. Again, I know it makes it sound very simplistic. And I'm not a chess player, but I know people that are. And they tell me more important than the move you're about to make is the move your opponent will make once you make your move. I don't think that way. I, I My brain just can't go five steps ahead like that. But here's what I will say. You're playing chess as an offensive coordinator when you're keeping your opponent on his heels. What move is he going to make? And when you're in gun and you've got four and you're empty, the the mystery's gone. You're going to throw the ball. There's a lot of quarterbacks that have a lot of success playing out of that, though. So well, you, you got to be very. You have to be very. You good. better be elite, and you better be, have elite receivers because that means they know you got to be able to get up press coverage. You got to be able to put the ball into a place where they can't get it, and you can move the ball. You systematically down the field, and you you got to be able to do that consistently. Be two dimensional. Yeah, yeah. Be it's a able lot. to run it, and when you're and when you're not having success early with the run, when you abandon it, your opponent says, "Thank you, thank you. What, I, we I got lo- you now." I would love to know the amount of empty snap and empty backfield snaps per game that they've done with Watson versus or watch say Watson DTR. Would you be able to find that Mike? I bet you'd have to I'd, do it. On I'd have to do some count. real research. Versus but, Brissett and then Flacco yeah, over the last I, two years. You're right. That would be, I'd curious. like to see that number two. I, you probably I, can't do it during the show. I, I, I just think that me, when you go minutes, gun I empty, do. you're, you're just, you're showing your hand. I don't know why in today's but NFL you would show your had, hand. Res, had success doing that overall. 
Not here, I mean, really. we, not here, right? No. Yeah, okay, but, overall. I don't, yeah. You know what? I can't say. I didn't study their offense in Houston like I have with them here. I just Watson know, like, even em- watching Watson Kansas likes City. empty, by the way. He but, was the most effective quarterback I, in empty sets I, I in know Houston 2019-2020. And in week, before he got hurt, I know it was one of my stats. I forget what week it was. But they had the most empty shotgun snaps. Because he likes it. Yeah. And the lowest EPA, or the second lowest EPA in the league in those empty sets. So. Yeah, I just, I just think you got to keep them guessing. I, I, I watched Kansas City last night. It's, I've been fascinated by how Andy Reid has evolved their offense as, their, as, they, as critical pieces have fallen off. And one thing I watched last night, I thought they were going to win that game last night. I thought they played well enough to win last night. And the reason I thought that was because Pacheco was an absolute machine. Yeah. He was incredible at one point he was hit at the 11 they didn't bring him down until the one and it was an entire group and then they threw the ball three times and and didn't score a touchdown I yeah I just I was just like you know it's so obvious that Andy Reid is evolving into is is zigging as the NFL is zagging so we've talked about how we think defenses are doing a much better job points are down uh, offensive efficiency is down it's become a more defensive game I think as that Skill set gets bigger. We can all agree on that. Kansas City is an interesting case study because they were the ones that really said, oh, they're going to score 50 points a game if we don't do something to change it. Now, Andy Reid is doing a lot of play fakes, and they're doing a lot of handoffs with Pacheco, who's perfect for that offense. I still, I still think you're going to need the quarterback to win the Super Bowl. You will. That's, yeah. you, better, you better believe you will. Yeah. But I, don't think, I think the days are gone when you can throw Tom Brady – and this, you know, the gun, run and gun, 75% pass offense out there I, I don't know and if it, win. I don't know if it's done. I, I mean, you know, I, there's, I, there's I, still teams putting up a lot of points. Uh, but points are down. I think we got to see it longer. we got to see it in the playoffs before we say it's done. I have, I've, I've, I did some a lot of figuring on, on this this morning. And I just thought I, want, I would throw it out there. Percentage of pass versus percentage of run. And the reason I did this is because when I was watching San Francisco, I'm like, that, that's, that's it. That is it. Now, obviously, how are you going to get all those chess pieces? They've got five kings on their offense. So mm-hmm. that's why they make it look so good. But the way they call their plays, their 50-50 run pass. What I did was I wanted to look at the pass percentage, run percentage differential, and the distribution in the NFL. The five teams that pass the ball the most, Washington, Cincinnati, the Jets, Minnesota, Carolina. Their combined record is 20 and 40. Now, obviously, they're passing a lot because they suck and they're losing in a lot of those games. Yeah. But I went and looked at their scores. Most of these teams, 40 losses, were one-score losses. Man. The ones that weren't were one-score losses in the fourth quarter. There were a few that were blowouts, in fairness. But w- what I'm saying is, the, the teams that pass it more than anybody are 20 and 40. Here are the teams I that... I think it's... A, uh, the Bengals don't belong in that conversation because... They lead, they're they number one in the I know the they don't have a running game. And, I love Joe Mixon. Uh, he's, he's, I don't think Mixon's his done. His metrics are going down the, sh- I, down I the like what When I watch Joe Mixon, I, don't, I haven't looked at his I, metrics, so yeah. you, you know more about him than I do. He's not... But when I watch Joe Mixon, I'm like, wow, this was a guy they were going to cut. He was... He's, he's a serviceable guy. Not, he's going down the tubes. Okay, but, but you but know him better than I do. They, I'm not their argue quarterback, that. obviously, they've had an injured quarterback, and now he's out for the season. And, and so is Minnesota, The rest of too. those teams are always are bad. Are bad teams. I know, but I thought yeah. they were going to be like, oh, my God, all these teams are getting blown out in all their games. That's yeah. not the case. They're 20 and 40, and they were in the vast majority of those 40. It's not like they had to throw it around the field but, all game long because they were down 25. Here's the five teams that run it the most. This is when it really solidified to me, you got to run the football. Baltimore, San Francisco, Atlanta, Philadelphia. All four of those teams are in first place. Then Chicago. Well, Chicago's bad. Chicago's the outlier. Atlanta's not very good. But they're 6-6. Six and six. Yeah. Eh, but they are in first place. Yeah. But those teams that run the ball more than they pass at the highest rate in the league, 38 wins, 22 losses. So the, the pass-heavy teams are 20 games under five hundred. The run-heavy teams are 16 games over 500. They're not really run-heavy. They're more balanced. Like Baltimore. Listen, yeah. nobody's run-heavy. Nobody is run-heavy. Yeah. These are the teams that are most the balanced. most yeah. run-heavy. But ju- just to give everyone context, 
Washington throws the ball 65% of the time. So which, does Cincinnati. Which leads Cincinnati 65-2. Baltimore is number one in rush percentage at 51.2%. So that, it's 50-50 versus 60 And so, yeah. yeah, now listen, I am not advocating, right. nor will uh, I ever advocate, yeah. that you run it 60% of the time. That's going to get you beat a lot. What I'm advocating for is a 50-50 mix, a San Francisco offense, a Baltimore offense, a Philadelphia offense. Although Baltimore, and then Baltimore is, I bet that 51% is the lowest they've had in, with Lamar Jackson, and it's the best their offense has looked. I don't know if it is the lowest. That's got to be, I would think. Now, last year was lower. Oh, it was? Yeah. I would, I would well, Lamar missed some, a lot of the season, though. So, here's the other thing that I think kind of ties into that stat. I yeah. went back and looked at all 12 of the Browns games this year to see what their distribution pass to run was. In the Cincinnati 24-3 win, they were 40 runs, 29 throws. So yeah. The, yeah, but Jay, you're going to give us stats that are well, misleading here. I'm going to give that stat context. Because, okay. I'm going to give that stat yeah. context. That was so out. That was so one-sided. It was, the, by the way, their most one-sided of the year, because it was a runaway win. They were up twenty-one points. What do you do when you're up? You bad, run the bad clock. Too. You milk the clock. That's what you do. Tennessee, twenty-seven to three win. Same situation. It was again. It was never in jeopardy. Never in question. Thirty-three pass, thirty-one run. I love that look. By the way, I love it. I want to be two or three off. Either way, San Francisco. A win, 34 pass, 34 run, right down the middle, 50-50. Indianapolis, one point win, 37 pass, 33 run, very close to 50-50. Arizona, now this was a blowout win. You'd expect there'd be a lot more runs than passes because it was a blowout. It was, 40 run, 30 pass. Still a little high in a game you won by 27, but I'm not going to complain. Baltimore. 33-31 33-31 win, 35 pass, 36 run. Right about mid, right down the middle. For their seven wins combined, this is stunning. They've thrown 241 passes, 243 runs. It's not stunning because when you're up, you're going to run no. more at the end of the well, game. Well, a lot of those games yeah. were one score games. I, one, two, what, three. But four one of score those doesn't mean you're not up. When no. you're up late, you're going to run. What this if it's tells a close me, game late, you're going you're gonna to run. Of course, and I, yeah. and I even said that. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm demonstrating for you is, and, and here's why it's important. Even if the run isn't working, and there were games in there where it wasn't working great, but they stayed with it, and the defense wasn't sure. They didn't know if they were going to pass or run because they didn't abandon the run. Here's their five losses. 26-22 to Pittsburgh. Close game. Obviously, they should have won that game. 40 pass, 35 run. Baltimore, loss. 36 pass, 25 run. Seattle, this was the one that just drives me nuts. They ran it eight times more than they threw it. But I felt they threw it. And and a lot of this, to me, is situational. There are situations where I think you should be running and they're passing. So these stats are not backing up your argument. Well, they will. In the the macro, they are. They absolutely do. I'll tell you why. Hold on. So far, the first three games have not. The first three losses. The first three, Pittsburgh, they had five more passes than one. So what? Some of those wins, they had more passes. Never more than four. Oh, four and five makes a difference? Stand by. Come on. Stand by. The Baltimore game, they got blown out. They had to throw. Denver, one score game with eight minutes to go. Yeah. 42 pass, 24 run. That's huge. Averaging four and a half yards per carry, and Ford was averaging nine yards a carry. Last week, or yesterday, 44 pass, 23 run. Are you you're really complaining about that? Yesterday, I you think they thousand. lost because they didn't run more. I will one thousand. Joe Flacco was playing really well. He was, but the the pivotal play of the game should have been a run, and I'm I'm never going to back off on I that. Mean, so I, so again, four point one yards per carry yeah. yesterday. That's not very good. It's times three is twelve yards. Okay, well, how many yards per a pass attempt? Certainly didn't, higher than four. Didn't figure that out, but when you pass, 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 and they know you're going to pass, 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 we did that on the last series. Yeah. We went backwards, backwards, safety. Well, so you can't do all, that. By that point, you had to throw. Yes, exactly, and they knew yeah. it. So yeah. again, the mystery. Game was over Keep them guessing. So yeah. in the seven wins, 241 pass, 243 run, just about a 50 50, 49.8. Yeah. 
In the five losses, 194 pass, 147 run, yeah. 57% pass heavy. Did, of- and the two that are really skewed were one score games with eight minutes to go and six minutes to I go. I think the only legit complaint you have is the Denver game. That's it to me. Last yesterday, yeah, yesterday the, the Raven game was the only other one that yesterday's game Flacco was playing well. The Ravens games are relevant. They got blown out. Of course, they had to throw the ball a lot. They were getting crushed in that game. And I said that. Right. So and the, the loss to the Steelers, it was balanced. And the so, loss to the Seahawks, they ran more. With so, all of And this- yesterday's game, Flacco was playing well, Jay. Like, you're, pr- you're saying this as if, as if there's uh, a cause and effect. That when you that- run, you win more. No. You, you, when you're winning, you're going to run the ball more at the end. Oh, you're not winning because you're running it more. You're running no. because you're winning. It's not a chicken or the egg bowl. You had to get the lead before you started running. You had to get the lead. Before, no, you didn't have. What do you mean you had to get the lead before you started running? These teams, if by yeah. your by your explanation, they're running because they're winning. You're That's saying there's no the causation overall- to this. I'm saying the causation is simple. They're winning because it's not a chicken or the egg. We know which one came first. They were winning, and they were winning because. But when you they're run, running, but when you're winning in the fourth quarter. The numbers are going to get skewed in the fourth quarter where you're winning. But Bull, I gave you're you, giving the final numbers. What are the numbers after the? What are the numbers after? You know, Bull, when the game's close. I went and looked. Yes. I, oh no, I didn't do that. I did not do that. Or, that would take. Or, that would take a month. If you're winning in the fourth quarter, right? You're going to run the ball more. Should. at that point, right? Yeah. What if you're down one score in the fourth quarter? What What should you're you do? You're more likely to throw, or at least have why? more of a mix. But why? There, yeah, there you go. Okay, yep, so more likely to have a mix. Those twenty to forty. That remember, I th- told you yeah. the the, run, the the pass heavy teams that are twenty and forty. Yeah. Most of those forty were one score games at the end or in the fourth yeah. quarter. The, the and team, the Browns too. And by the way, the teams you gave with the running, they all, I think all of them except for maybe the Niners have running quarterbacks. That's going to skew the numbers. The Niners have a running quarterback too. Well, he doesn't run like those other guys. He can run. No, no, but he doesn't run like the other guys. No, but it's not a part run. of their. Offense. And by the way, the other, that's. All part of this. I understand that, but you're you're blanketly saying you're, you're, the four teams at top have running quarterbacks and the best running back in football, Christian McCaffrey. The Browns don't have a running quarterback or a great running back, so that's a big difference. They had a running quarterback until yesterday. What are you talking about? The Browns had running quarterbacks until yesterday. Not at that level. Lamar Jackson, and they have a, a Lamar Jackson, I mean, Justin Deshaun Fields Watson, level. I was told Deshaun Watson, but part of the reason we got him was because he was well, multi Well, Lamar Jackson, I mean, Deshaun Watson got hurt in the third game and has been dealing with an injury after that. They weren't going to run him. When he ran, he looked pretty good to me. I hear you, but they don't have, the, look, the, what the Eagles and, and Bears and well, Ravens all have in common is they their quarterback running game is a huge part of what they do. That's going to skew your numbers. They, if you look at running back, if you look at running back carries, I gave you a bunch of numbers, Bull. You yeah. can do with them whatever you want. Uh, so I'm am not I not entitled to give some numbers? You am I right? Give that, me numbers, but am, am I right that those three teams are have part of the reason their run percentage is so high is because of their quarterback? Bull, what percentage of their run game is from their quarterback? Let's I don't know what the out. percentage is. Well, let's let's, but let's just is it is it fair to say that those numbers are higher because their quarterbacks run? Well, of course it is. They've okay, the that's the point. But they're running their numbers. Running the ball aren't high because of that. Oh, oh yes, it is. Oh, I see. So, be just so in other words, then the quarterbacks would be each of these teams' leading rushers. No, but it's okay. a factor in why it's so high. Of course, it is. Well, you, uh, look, do, 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 you'll, you'll never. And when I when I was putting yeah. these numbers together, I was laughing as I was going yeah. through them because I'm like, Bull's going to try to piss on all of these. I'm but not all of on, these. No, they're point interesting to one stats. Conclusion. But the conclusion is this. Yeah. When you mix the run and the pass equally, your chances of winning go through the roof. My point is... When you are heavy pass, my point is, your chances of losing go down. That's not... Okay, that's... When you look at the Browns, what they have in their running game, okay? Yep. The, the Ravens have Lamar Jackson, who's a special runner. Yep. The... The Bears have Justin Fields, who's a special runner. Not a great quarterback, but a special runner. I'm not runner. even going to say he's a special runner. He ran for 1,000 yards last year, Jay. Last year, what the Bears do to him this year, they've handcuffed him. They don't How want him running. How many yards does Justin Fields have per game, Mike? He hasn't Justin played Fields much. has 70 carries this season for 400 yards. He's averaging 50 yards per game. Okay. That's that's pretty well, – uh, That's, that's going to be – 50 yards a game? Is that the biggest percentage of one team's run game or not? What do you mean? Like, so – 
Justin Fields, what he's giving the Bears running game, is that the biggest percentage of, from, from of a, a quarterback run game from a quarterback? I mean, he's he leads the team in rushing. He has 400 yards. Their next leading rusher is 381. I'm guessing Lamar. Lamar, Lamar does has, not lead the Ravens in rushing. No, but he is 500. I just saw it say he has 500 rushing yards right, this year. Right. And how uh, many does Brock Purdy have? Brock Purdy and also Bull put the stat in the group chat yesterday that the Browns run the ball more than any team. More than since any the team. Ravens. Ravens. They're, run, they're running backs. They have more running back carries than any team in the. So NFL. they should be number one in run pass differential because I'm going to no. shoot that stat down right now. No. The reason they run more than any other team. Who leads the league in seven and out or three and outs? The Browns do. Thank you. More opportunities. That's why they have more runs. So your argument would hold water if yeah. the Browns' percentage of running plays is the highest in the NFL. Well, the Browns don't. You see, the Browns are missing what those teams have. They don't have a special running quarterback, and they don't have a special running I, back. I'm just saying. It, I thought they I, did have a running quarterback until Joe Flacco. I, I, Brock Purdy has 121 rushing yards, by the one way. Or, and one, they're the best in terms of the But they 50, have Christian McCaffrey, split. the best back in the league. One or, one the Browns the don't have that. We they did. We're, we're missing one thing. They did. And we, we, we spoke about it yeah. earlier is if you got receivers who aren't good, and, I, and you break it down by playmakers. I watch these other teams. There's deep threats. There's playmakers. If you are going to be throwing the ball, you got to have some of those guys. So, it, but, but that, that, I, You're right, but if you lead the league in drops, that, that wouldn't, mean, that, wouldn't that tell somebody that maybe, you, we're, maybe where, we're growing too much? Where are the Browns percentage-wise of or, running or, plays? Where are they ranked? I rank? think they're mid. The Browns, in terms of percentage plays, according to NFLTeamRanks.com. It's the same, it's the same page that had the, you know, the yep. Bengals are at 65. I got it. I got to pull up the right tab. Rushing offense, rush play percentage. The Browns rank sixth at 45.4%. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sixth. Now, I'm going to here's, – here's why I'm glad we looked that up. Yeah. If this team ran the ball more, not – and I'm not even saying substantially more. I think when I was doing my, my research, I said, give me five carries more per game. Five to six. Yeah. So it came up to about 5.5. Because they're in such a hole on the, on the games when they overly pass. Particularly the last two. You said that you'd give them Baltimore or you'd give them the Denver Denver's game. Denver's the only game where there's a legit complaint. They were both, in the two games, they were almost exactly the same numbers. 42 pass, 24 run. 44 pass, 23 run. To me, and Joe Flacco I, I, I was wish playing I could well. say what I want to say, but I can't. Joe Flacco was playing well, Jay. The, the, to, Bull, to, bring right. up, to bring up the run pass Bull, yesterday is pointless. Bull, the fact that there's six. What's the one play that cost us the game? A pass. Okay. So that. And, and, and would they have Mikey, been in that right. game? You're would right. they have we been have in, to move on. Would they have been in that game without the pass? No. No. They were 20, it was 20 to 19. They would not have been in that game without the effective passing game from Joe Flacco. Their offense. So he threw one pick. So now you can point up the stats. It's the old. But the bottom thing. line is, it's you gave a top Hayes five. Things. When you, you pass, out. two things, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. All right. I mean, the, no. It's the it's bottom a line is, every team in football averages more yards per pass than they do average per run. Bull, I'll never argue against that. Yeah. And I even said, I, yeah. you can't but win the ball here, running it at here's a sixty the percent. They're still sixth. In, in running percentage. And what's their record? Okay. <laughs> they're a good and, team. And they're the only... They're ba- what I'm saying is, Bull, instead of 7-5, and five, yeah. when the mix was really, really good, they're now... or uh, I'm sorry. They could be 8-3? Eight 9-3. Three, eight, yeah. three. The last, thing I'll, but, say, the last but, thing I'll say is, the only game you could argue that it cost them throwing the ball too much is Denver. That's it. So, Bottom line. So, Bull... At, yeah. at seven and three, yeah, seven and four is where they were. Seven and four. Yeah, you then went the worst pass ratio that you've had all year, L. Then you went the worst pass ratio of the year. So you think they L. lost yesterday's so, game because yes. they they threw too much? I think they threw again. I said this situationally. What did the situation yesterday in that spot call for? Well, I'll argue till I'm dead that that it right. calls for runs. It's all right. Run the ball down the field. Take six minutes off the Why clock. Why would you? Yeah. Kick a field goal. You come home with a win. 
and you're eight and four. Uh, you say that as if it's a short thing that that was going to happen. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, but I know you what, are. I know what they did, and the I know how line, it ended. You made this. You gave this whole presentation to make it seem like the Browns don't run enough when they do. Bull, no. Because all the teams ahead of them, except for the Niners, have a quarterback who runs. And, bull, and the Niners have the best running back in football. And to that point, the Browns had quarterbacks that could run. Not and like that, Lamar and, 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 and Justin the, Fields and Jalen Hurts. Before the two most egregious out-of-balance games, this team was 7-4. and four.